wow welcome to our next video we are going today to learn how to uh, calculate the grade the grade for each student uh, depending on the average or the total marks that the student has got and so let us uh, begin so first we need to go to the cell that we want to calculate our grade and uh, in this case I will be using this cell K2 cell K2 to calculate the grades <coughs> now to calculate the grade we are going to use the if function the if function because there are two there are many conditions depending on the number of marks that the student has therefore we are going to use the if function uh, to calculate the grade so we write is equals to if I'm going to use the first formula that I've shown you in the previous video the, the formula for writing so is equals to if then you open the brackets So which cell are we going to use to calculate the average? We are going to calculate the average basing our average on our grade on the average marks of the student. So in this case for our cell here, the first person is Halga. So we are going to use uh, her average which is 52 in cell J2. So if J2 after writing the cell you put comma then you you indicate the the uh, the condition the condition at which uh, will happen uh, so that we get a certain input now the condition here is that if this cell j2 is uh, uh, is greater than let's say it's greater than or equal to uh, 80 now that is the condition that we've, we've uh, already given or the logical test that is going to test what is in that cell so that it gives us an output so if j2 is greater than or equal to 80 then that student eventually gets an A so you put that results in quotation because it is a text if it is not a text you just write it if it's a number let's say if it is 1 you just write 1 but since it is a text you put it in full quotation like that so that is the first logical test with its true value so if we the student gets uh, 80 or above 80 that student grade is a now let's go to the second one to go to the second one you don't write again equals you just start by e then you open the brackets then you select the cell that we are referring to it's greater than or equal to now the next logical text is uh, if it is greater than or equal to 70 then the results will be b will be b you close then you go to the third if again the same cell is greater than or equal to or equal to uh, 60 that person gets uh, gets a C a C that person gets a C then you close the quotation if 
again the last uh, logical test that we are going to do is if again the same cell is greater than or equal to uh, 50 then that student gets a what a D you close the quotation and lastly is an E eventually is the last condition the, the last test that we have and since it's the last test there is no need to add the logical test you just write the true value of the last condition or you can write the way we've written here if uh, I to wait if you open the brackets then you select that cell I2 is greater than mm, it's greater than or equal to no now it's the last condition so if it is less than you say less than if it is less than 50 then that student gets automatically an E like that you we can write like that and we close all the brackets all the brackets that we've opened or there's no need of writing as the if function here again and the logical test you just write the last true value for the last logical test it is the same way because it is the last eventually it's the last if all these other condition will not be in place for these values in the range in the column j eventually it will get an e and that's why i have not written the if function here again so we close the brackets that we have opened so in my case this is the first one second one third one fourth one so i close the four brackets and then i press enter so this student got a d this student got a d so if you drag down there we only have one student who got a b 73 points 73 points so let's say this student uh, terry gets 81 you see automatically uh, he has an a and let's say um Peter now fails and get less than 50 that is 49 he gets an E automatically because we the last logical test uh, was to get an E so this is how we can do this this is how we can uh, we can calculate the average the grade uh, basing our grade on the average marks for each student i hope it was wonderful thank you for watching please like subscribe and share